Take care. As the movie starts, we see a man named Andy living with his wife Kay and one-year-old daughter Rosie. After humanity is overwhelmed by zombies, the family lives in a houseboat in rural Australia. One day while Andy was sailing on his houseboat, he notices two children playing on the river bank. Andy looks very happy and waves his hand after seeing them. However, the children's father disapproves of his gesture and displays his gun to Andy. Observing it, Andy goes inside. At night Andy and his wife discuss their dwindling food supplies. His wife suggests moving into a town by leaving the boat so that they could arrange some food. But Andy forbids his wife because he did not want to face any danger. Obviously, it was risky to step on the land. So he wanted to stay in his boat. On the next day when Andy wakes up, he notices a broken sailboat. He goes there in search of food and some essentials. He hears some sounds from the boat while he was searching for food. Andy comes back to his boat after taking a few things. Luckily, Andy could get food that would last for nearly three months. They both get excited after finding the food. His wife says to him to have some rest. Later she goes to the sailboat to take some more things. Unfortunately, a zombie attacks her. After awakening Andy starts playing with his daughter and discovers bloodstains on the boat deck. It was an indication that his wife has been bitten by a zombie. It means that his wife will be transformed into a zombie after 48 hours. He gets very disturbed as it was very hard for him to believe. He still thinks that his wife can be recovered. He leaves the boat and comes on the land with his wife and daughter so that he can take his wife to the hospital. After walking for a short while, Andy locates a car. When Andy was fueling the car with gas, a zombie appears. He immediately moves from there when he sees the zombie. After some time Kay gets down to change the nappy of her daughter. At that very moment, her condition becomes worse and faints on the ground. When she restores her senses, she argues with Andy that she should be left alone as she could turn into a zombie soon. But Andy loves his wife very much, he makes his wife seated in the car and breaks the car door handle so that she could not get down. After traveling in the car for a distance, Andy notices a zombie in the front of the car. He gets distracted and hits the car to a tree. When Andy restores his senses he notices that his wife has already transformed into a zombie. Unfortunately Kay bites Andy while he was moving away with his daughter from the car. After some effort, he takes her little daughter outside the car and starts weeping. But he had to maintain his courage for his little daughter. He encourages himself and wears his wife's stopwatch. Now he is only 48 hours before he could transform into a zombie. He starts walking with his daughter on his back. After a while he encounters the same zombie which had caused the car crash. Andy tries to defend himself and his daughter from the zombie. Then a girl named Thumi comes there and requests, don't harm my father. Keep away from him. She injures her hand with a small stone to cause bleeding. Smelling her blood her father goes after her. Andy reaches the town which he was supposed to reach. Andy enters that town school and meets a good-natured teacher Etta. She bandages Andy's wounds and allows him to stay at her place during the night. Andy thinks to give the custody of Rosie to her. But Etta was suffering from cancer and she also has less time to survive which makes Andy change his decision. On the other side, Thumi's mother is shown who is attacking the zombies with the help of other indigenous Australians. By killing the zombies she can secure the town and on the other hand, she is also searching for her daughter Thumi. Thumi used to love her father very much and did not want to keep herself away from him even though her father transformed into a zombie. So she keeps her father safe by digging a pit. She used to take care of her father so that he may not be harmed by her mother or indigenous Australians. She was living alone to save his father, hiding from her mother. Contrarily, Andy's condition gets worse during the night. He loses his senses by vomiting blood. When he wakes up in the morning, he notices that he is only 32 hours before he could transform into a zombie. Andy leaves that place with his daughter. After walking for a while, he spots a car. A man named Vic fires his rifle at Andy as he approaches the car. But that gunshot was actually aimed at a zombie that was following Andy from behind. Vic requests, help me. My foot is squeezed under a tank. 
He gives Andy the car keys and asks him to remove the tank. Andy pulls the tank with the help of the car. Later Vic takes Andy to his shelter house where he was residing with his wife. After a while, Vic invites him to join him so that he can show his work to Andy. Actually Vic's work is to shoot zombies when they are attracted towards the cage where humans are kept as zombie fodder. After slaying the zombies, he grabs their valuable possessions. If the situation improves in the coming days, he may use those items. In the cage, Andy witnesses Thumi and an elderly man. Andy wasn't feeling well, but he didn't have a backup plan for keeping his kids safe. When he enters the shelter, he discovers that his daughter is safe with Vic's wife Lorraine. Being satisfied, he begins to end his life to keep others secure as he had no more time. Then Lorraine arrives there and says to him, don't do that. In the hands of Vic your daughter will never be safe as he is very wicked. She further explains that she is not Vic's wife and that Vic rescued himself by allowing her husband to be victimized by the zombies. He has held her captive since that time. Vic approaches there searching for her and hears both of them. He knocks Andy by hitting on his head with a gun. He imprisons him in the same cage as Thumi. When he restores his senses, he requests Thumi, help me. We can together escape from here. Andy throws a rope towards the zombie, fixing a piece of meat with it. The cage door gets opened a little when the zombies pull the rope. They exit the cage and return to the shelter house. Then they escape from there along with Lorraine and Rosie. But Vic shoots at them. Unfortunately, the bullet hits Lorraine making her dead. Escaping from there they both hide at a place. The next morning, Andy and Thumi were conversing with each other. Andy explains to Thumi that her father can never be recovered as he is transformed into a zombie. Hearing it, Thumi runs near a tree where she had left her father safely. But she comes to know that her mother has bound her father to that tree after killing him. Seeing it, Thumi starts weeping. She starts hitting her head with a stone. Andy has no more time so he starts to leave from there. He had to keep his daughter at a secure place before his transformation into a zombie. He had to give the charge of his daughter to a person who could take care of her after his death. Thumi hears the weeping sound of Rosie after some time. When she goes to check, she notices that Andy is unconscious. When he restores his senses, Andy thinks to move to the family members whom he had seen at the river bank. Thumi agrees to guide him to that place. Reaching there, Andy comes to know that the head of that family has also been bitten by the zombies. That man again shows the same gun. He says to Andy that there are six bullets in the gun. He decides to fire three bullets on his family and one for himself. He suggests to Andy that if he wants, he can shoot himself and his daughter with two bullets. Andy is left astonished and forbids him from doing that act. But he refuses and kills himself and his family. All of a sudden, everyone is dead. Andy, agitated, considers killing himself by picking up the gun. At the same time, Thumi reaches there. She says to Andy, I want to return to my house. You can leave your daughter to our tribe. She assures, Rosie will be safe there. Andy agrees because he had to settle her daughter in a safe place. We see smoke rising from a mountain. Both begin to move there. The smoke was rising because indigenous Australians were burning the zombies there. They noticed Vic while passing through a train tunnel. Taking Andy's little daughter, Thumi goes into the stationary car. The fight begins when Vic spots Andy. Vic picks up the gun when it gets dropped by Andy. After this, he forcefully takes Thumi out of the car. Consequently, Thumi gets a head injury. Restoring his consciousness, Andy notices Rosie on Vic's lap. He was about to kill his daughter but returns to him at his request. Later, Andy leaves taking his daughter Rosie and Thumi. We see Thumi stumbling because of the head injury. Andy realizes that he has no more time. Andy's condition gets worse after walking for a while and he was soon going to transform into a zombie. Meanwhile, Andy catches the sight of a piece of meat. Afterwards, he says to Thumi, take care of my daughter. And he shows love to his daughter last time. This scene looks very emotional. Andy hits upon a plan by fixing the piece of meat to the edge of a stick. 
On the other side, Thumi's mother and indigenous Australians arrive on the scene. They observed Thumi with Rosie while they were leaving after killing the zombies. They both were at the backside of Andy. Thumi had brought Andy there by directing him with the stick which had a piece of meat. After their arrival, Thumi stops the indigenous Australians when they are about to kill Andy. She sprays the perfume of Andy's wife so that Andy may feel and recall the memories of his family. Afterwards, they kill Andy. Then it is shown that on Rosie's abdomen, thank you is written by Andy. Then they hide Andy in that tree as they had done with Thumi's father to prevent the infection. At last, Rosie gets a secure place and a family to stay with. Thanks for watching.